If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout here and welcome to another video ladies and gentlemen today we have the team of the season live evolution to check out the reason why i didn't really do a bunch of reviews during the weekend is because i kind of had a feeling that certain cards were going to come out it's kind of funny because i reviewed doku because i'm like doku is so expensive that there's no way that he would get an evolution but then i was going to do the review for bruno fernandez and apparently he gets one too so i don't know you know that's why it was good that i didn't actually uh do it on any of these cards because it would be helpful for the review to kind of know what they're like with the boost especially or without it right because either way you can kind of test it out with the cards right but this evolution is going to be called live team of the season upgrade so obviously if you pack some of these bigger cards it'll definitely be very nice you have to wait and see like what the biggest player you're going to pack is if you're a befica fan you go with ultimendi and stuff right away right like without a question um but if you're a person who's going for the meta, there's obviously specific players that are available through this that are going to be very nice to get, right? So long ball pass. I'm pretty sure Bruno already has long ball pass. Let me see. I'd be surprised if he didn't. He went up 310k because of the evolution. Long ball pass. Yeah, he already has that. So you're giving. So if you were to give that to Bruno or to a card like Bruno, a little bit, a little bit of a waste. Press proven. Oh, press proven would be nice actually. I don't think he has that. No, press proven would be a good play style to be fair, but long ball, it would be, you know, anyways, so let's go ahead and check out some of the uh, evolution choices that you can get from this, because obviously it is a free upgrade and from the free upgrades, you can get some very good stuff. I think it might make more sense for maybe for defenders. Is Bissick part of this? Because if he is, I feel like he'd probably be like a big option. Let me see. Footwiz.com. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so we go to FC24 Evolutions, live team of the season upgrade, and then these are the cards that you can upgrade. Completed Evolutions. Okay. Romero, Loftus Cheek. I mean, you could do it for a lot of very good players. These guys we're gonna kind of skip past a little bit. Um, because I don't think they're gonna be like as relevant. So Modric. Let's see here. If I were to do it for Luka Modric. Team of the season live into the evolution. They mess with his dribbling. They mess with his defense, his physicality, and his passing. Long ball pass he probably already has as well, I would assume. Yeah, he does have long ball pass. Press proven would be cool. You could totally do that on the card. It wouldn't necessarily be a bad option. But the plus twos for from what I'm seeing, guys, I'm going to be honest. I think this evolution might make more sense for the defenders. Is if if Bissick is part of this, yeah, I think it might be worth it on Bissick the most. Vasquez is also a part of it too. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so Luka Modric as a team of the season. Okay, so at least I can review these cards without the evolution. Um because I was like, I, I didn't review them because I was like, I don't know what the evolution is going to be like. Because if it's like a significant upgrade, then, you know. But Luka Modric, technical plus, incisive pass plus, anticipate. And then with the evolution version, he gets improved stats in those areas. Which, again, wouldn't be bad if you wanted to go down this direction, sure. The thing is, is that you have to be mindful of the improvements that they're given, right? So if you look at the evolution version, it's plus twos. I will say that in the defensive area it would make a difference as well as the physical area, but in some areas, maybe not as much, right? Like dribbling and passing, because either these are team of the season live cards that could potentially improve in the future. So I think with Luka Modric, the best case scenario with him is obviously doing the evolution for him on defense, right? Specifically, but the other improvements obviously is a plus if he's given, but the passing is already really good. The dribbling is already going to be good. He already has long ball pass. So it kind of seems like a waste for this card if he already has that team of the season live card, right? Uh, Bruno Fernandes, I personally believe could be. Keywords could be in a similar situation because I like the improvements that he's given in certain areas. But again, as a team of the season live card, because um, here's the thing, they, they made this card different to the flashback card because the flashback card, right? 
was actually given defensive capabilities, which is a very, very big deal in my opinion. I have I've yet to try that team of the season card. I'll probably start doing the reviews on Monday to see what they're like, because this card has intercept and anticipate, right? In comparison, he also has like press proven on this card as well. Um, not press proven, uh, relentless on the card, right? Pink's fast. Like this flashback card is still a card you can use nowadays and he would still cook, right? So those two play styles for the midfield position is super, super important. Sure, they didn't give it to him. Sure, he has improved stats in multiple areas. Uh, not like significantly until those upgrades, right? But I, I think with these cards, they kind of seem like more of a waste because I, I think it's important to imp improve the dribbling, the defense, passing physical on the defenders, especially if they're formatted a certain way, right? Um, all right, so what else we have here? So Romero. So, okay, so Romero could be a really good example, right? Let's see what we're with Romero. Christian Romero went up 32k, 750k. Let's see what his base play styles are. Already has long ball pass as well. Bro, it's like they're forcing it on Bissick, I think, man. Maybe. Let's see. So press proven would be nice, to be fair. Even in center backs, it'd be nice because when people apply pressure, these guys can't move, honestly. Anticipate plus, slide tackle plus, power header plus, long ball pass, jockey, intercept, bruiser, technical, aerial. Yeah, you can go in this direction too. Because the improvements would actually be it'd be a little bit more relevant for him but the thing is, is that it's also maximizing his defense already which would actually be crazy because then you wouldn't have to focus on improving that because if you were to do this on the evolution and then he gets a double upgrade and then you don't even have to touch the defending and you can actually give him a catalyst that'd be kind of sick especially since he has the passing play styles four star skills for the sake of it that's like kind of random, but controlled lengthy base card stats for defense in the future could be really high as well. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm really curious with the Bissick card when we get to that. It's like where it's going to be some, somewhere down there. Loftus Cheek can get it. Ribbon Loftus Cheek. Loftus Cheek. Okay, so with him, all oh, I think the upgrades would be nice on him, except for the passing. Uh, I think the upgrades are pretty significant for him. Dribbling for sure, because a double upgrade with a dribbling boost on top of it, I think would be a pretty big deal. 288k on this card. Dribbling would definitely be a really big deal, 100%. No shadow of a doubt. Um, these cards already have long ball pass. Give him two long ball passes. Turn it into a playstyle plus. <laughs> Oh, dude. Like, I thought I was, like, tripping, because it is actually a long ball pass, but, like... I feel like they're really forcing on specific players, man. If Bissick doesn't have long ball pass, I'll, I'll laugh, because that'll be, like, the most obvious, honestly. Um, Shadow chemistry style, boost the pace, boost the defense, base card stats improved would be really good for him, to be fair. This wouldn't be a bad option. He already has really good passing, so that's where it would be kind of a waste, I would say. But this card actually looks pretty decent. Intercept plus. This card actually looks really good, to be fair. As a midfielder, that definitely looks very solid. The, the base dribbling stats being improved would be a big deal, I think. I think that would be a, I think that'd be a key thing to work with. Um, Santos. I'm not really sure people care too much about these cards. Unless it was like Diani or something, you know? But Santos? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Lazy Santos. 169k. I mean, evolution for her. No, evolution for her would be kind of cool. It wouldn't be bad at all. Because in the future, if she gets the upgrades, it's an anchor, right? I think you still give her a shadow because that interception is a slide tackle. Because this is a card you probably use as like an actual center mid. Five foot three. Maybe her dribbling becomes better with the improvements in the future so that you can actually use her as a main attacker up top. Like that wouldn't be bad either probably give her like a hawk chemistry style in the future too depending on how they improve the card if she gets that double upgrade especially on that evolution like a card that see this this card actually looks interesting now that i'm looking at it but it looks more interesting if she gets the double upgrade the double upgrade is going to be a key thing here because the dribbling needs to be improved for sure even though she's five foot three uh because the way the dribbling works in this game i use players that have 99 dribbling stats and they still feel weird um 
but defensive stats being good is a really key thing because there's some formations where like in the in that one four and two and two video i showed you guys like having a, a cam that actually has defensive capabilities is a really big deal so the fact that she has some is really cool um and then she has some pretty good play styles as well what does she originally have Okay, so this one makes more sense, right? Because you give her press proven. Oh, she already has press proven on this one. Is it press proven? No, it's not plus. Press proven regular. No long ball pass, right? Okay. Lucas Vasquez. So Lucas Vasquez is the new card. Let's see here. So this is a card that we're going to be doing a review for today. Um, anchor chemistry style. Hmm. This might be really interesting, actually. Let me see here. So if you could do it on Lucas Vasquez, and then you give him an anchor. I think this would be pretty significant. I would, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I would really, I'd really wait until the end because the, the base stuff is max 99, 93 pace. Wait, max 93 pace. Ah, look at that. So you actually have to make a decision before they get the upgrades. Yeah, you do. Because if he gets past that 93 pace from the upgrade, then you know you can no longer choose him. Interesting. It's funny that they made him 93, 93 exactly. Um, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think this SBC looks really good. I'd be surprised if this card sucked in game. Like We're going to be doing the review for him, right? But the reason why I'm saying this is because... First of all, it's Real Madrid, right? So they can totally get their wins um, and their goals, potentially. But this card with an evolution, and then I give him an anchor. I mean, it looks like a pretty good card because the improvements that they gave him is actually very significant for him. One improvement for the pace would already make it really nice, but... You have to imagine the base card stats being improved for defense and physical in those specific areas, making him a very good player. Like it's it's essentially going to be perfect in the pace, defense, and physical department. So that's a card definitely to look into as a defender. He has jockey plus and whipped pass. First of all, W play styles. So that's a huge deal, right? Um, jockey plus with whipped pass plus. So the regular one already has long ball pass but does not have press proven i think press proven would actually be really nice <laughs> i think that'd be really nice bruiser as well this card looks really good so looks solid as a right back looks solid as like a right mid in a three back looks solid as a center mid in a four three three formation like there's a lot of ways you can use this card that actually looks really nice so that's a card to look into for sure uh leia alexandri <laughs> Nah, female players, center backs, uh, too short. Like, I, I, that I don't even bother with that. Bissig, this is the one I'm, lo I'm, lo I'm looking forward to. This guy might be a beast. I haven't tried him yet, so. Okay, so the evolution. Passing stats improved. Dribbling stats would be improved, which is a big deal, I think. Shadow chemistry style. Ooh. See, the thing with this card is that if he gets the improvements on an anchor in the future. Oh, anchor's not even necessary on him. <laughs> Bro, can you just give this guy an engine? Like, where's the engine? Am I blind? I'm blind. Bro, you might be able. To... Nah, nah. I think they don't. They don't boost the interceptions that much. Oh, he's still gonna be a shadow chemistry style flex for him. I think Lucas Vasquez looks like the most obvious choice so far. Because this Bissick, I've heard very good things about him. Like, we have to try him out at some point. Um, but I heard he's a very, very good center back and. I mean, it kind of looks like it because, I mean, he's got Jockey Plus with Block Plus. Those two go hand in hand. Relentless for our, for the second man press because second man press is literally better than you controlling them. Uh, long Ball Pass, Intercept, Bruiser, Aerial, Press. Like, I, I'd be surprised if this card sucked in game, honestly. They they really boosted this guy. We'll try him out. Uh, maybe maybe tomorrow on, on, on Monday. We'll give him a shot. We'll give him a shot. But he looks good. Lucas Vasquez looks like a very solid option, though, I think, for sure. These top choices you can make too, but I think with the Team of the Season live cards, it'll look nice. This one is a little bit pointless in the defensive department. 
I would say. Um, let me see something here. Uh, do, 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 do. So we were just looking at Sobosloy. Let me see. How do you pronounce this guy's name again? Sobosloy? S yeah, SZ. Oh, it doesn't show what I write. I thought that's why I was so confused at first. I'm like, brother, what are you talking about? 15k upwards. Yeah, even people know a little bit, you know? Um, okay, so evolutions for him. Dribbling would be a big deal. Yeah, dribbling would be a big deal, for sure. Defense, not not really. Physical, a little bit, yes. And then passing, a little bit, yes, too. Because I'm imagining the this future the future stat improvements. I actually feel like Sobosloy kind of requires this evolution. I'm not going to lie, because he's six foot one with a high medium work rate. So if you were to do this evolution, you put his dribbling in the 90s. And then if Liverpool can perform and you give him a hunter in the future, right, to increase his pace to be as high as possible, as well as his shooting, his passing is already good. His dribbling would be even higher, like maybe like mid 90s area for most of it. So that would really compensate for the six foot one height with the more physical body type. I remember him being a little bit more physical, tall and normal with him. So that would actually be really cool, to be fair. It wouldn't be bad if you're a, a Liverpool fan and wanna, wanting to upgrade that. In Capier, Bundesliga links would be kind of crazy. Like the, the the main problem with this guy is the links, unless like they do like Florian Wurtz in the future. You know, I think that would be a really sick card for sure. Um, am I blind or is this in Capier? Let me see something. Loftus Cheek is the one that's trending the most. Loftus Cheeks looks really good, to be fair. Most of these cards are like good options, but you have to like pack these guys to like be really good with that, you know? Um, sorry, so in Capier, two play style pluses, an intercept plus and slide tackle plus. This is this is a little bit interesting, actually. 95, 99, holy your pace. This guy, does he not get a lengthy on an anchor? Ah, he does. He gets a controlled lengthy on an anchor. Play styles, long ball pass, press proven, slide tackle plus, intercept plus, jockey with block. I mean, hey, that's still not a bad choice, honestly. How much does this card cost? 155k. Not a bad choice. Bissick looks looks really crazy. Vasquez looks like probably the craziest, honestly, with that evolution. Because the way that they improve that card is very specific, you know? Otamendi for the Liga Noche players, Befica teams. Yeah, this one would be pretty significant, actually. This guy's not going to be expensive. People don't, people don't build these teams. Well, we got to be honest. Shadow Chemistry Sal boosts, boosts the pace as well as the defense. Um, Yeah, for him, it would be significant. The dribbling, the passing, the physical, and the defense, it would be significant for him, for sure. To make him a little bit more usable in the meta, right? Six foot tall. Intercept, slack tackle, bruiser, aerial, long ball pass, anticipate, jockey. No block? No block, but... Yeah, usability will be a little bit more there, I think. Um, let's see what else we have here. Marino. People don't really care too much about this guy, do they? No, he's one of those guys, too. People don't care for this card, but he still looks decent. Let me see his playstyles. Finesse, incisive, power shot, power header, long ball pass, anticipate. Okay, so he's just like a center mid, basically. You just use him as like um like if you play 4 3 3, 4 1 2 and 2, like probably left center mid, because I'm pretty sure he's left footed. Oh yeah. Then you give him a shadow chemistry style, boost the pace and defense. Eh. Yeah, I mean you could. You could go down that direction for sure. Too many tabs, my boy. Too many tabs. Marino, Turland. Four star, five star Turland. Do, 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 do. Hunter chemistry style. Hawk chemistry style. Yeah, she could be pretty cool. The defensive stats a little bit of a waste, I think, though, for these types of cards. It has to be like, if you're going to do it, it has to be like the midfielders, defenders, I think. It just makes more sense for those guys. Even for Santos, it would because she's got base 76 uh, defending. Sobosloy, it would it would still be decent for him because of the dribbling boost. I think that'd be like the... 
I think that'd be the key thing, honestly. David Costa. If I was building a Portuguese team, would I do it on David Costa? No chance, bro. Look at the way they format this card, bro. Oh, that's disgusting. I mean, actually, on a Hawk with two improvements. But he has to get the two improvements. I don't know. Lens? I don't know if Lens is actually that good this year. Delt, he'll actually get the improvements, to be honest. I don't know if Lens is, like, ever since, like, Fofana and stuff left. I don't think so. No, Penda? I think that was, that was the same team that they played on, no? Um, And then I guess the last one we could check out here is McGinn for the Aston Villa fans. Yeah, the improvements would be pretty significant for him, too, I think. Yeah, because, I mean, technically, you could go on an anchor as well in the future. Nah, nah. Can you give him a hunter, then his base card stats for physical or for defense is just improved? Let me see. Hunter, hunter, hunter. Am I blind? I'm always blind when I got to look for the exact one I want. There it is. Defensive stats. I mean, the defensive stats would still be in a pretty decent area, honestly. I guess it depends on how you would use him, right? Play styles, what do you have? Hmm. I think that the best choices for this... So Loftus Cheek is trending. I'm not against Loftus Cheek. I think this is a good choice. Because the defensive stats you can see from base card stats, if he gets the double improvement, it would be nice for him, right? Because passing is perfect, which wouldn't be improved even further unless it was like for vision and curve and that kind of stuff, right? That's what the... Let me go to the team of the season here. Yeah, so it does improve those other areas. The physical is a good improvement. Yeah, I'm not against this one because he has really good play styles. Like, really, really good play styles. Intercept plus in the midfield with Bruiser working with his body type and stuff. That's not bad. But I really like the Lucas Vasquez choice. I think I like him the most, honestly. Because the way that they format him with the improvements, it kind of makes the most sense, I think, right? Especially on that anchor chemistry style to be used in any of the positions, like... He looks pretty good. This card definitely looks pretty good, for sure. Four star, five star, too, man. With the good, like those two play styles of the W. Especially in the fullback position, for sure. And then who are the other trending ones? Let's see. Bissig. Yeah, Bissig is apparently a monster, so people will definitely look into this one, too. Anchor chemistry style. Not, not even, it's not even the anchor, it's the, it's the catalyst for him. Right? To boost the pace and to boost the, the passing. Depending on how they improve the defense, because interceptions being as high as possible, I feel like is important. So I'd probably still give him a shadow, to be honest, even with the future improvements. Yeah, he might he might be top choice, honestly, because this guy apparently is a monster. Yo, I only seen recently that he's six foot five. Like that's gargantuan in game. Like that's huge. It's like Malinkovich Savage 2.0, bro. You can go down this route, but like passing's already good, dribbling's already good, defense you would just improve with the shadow. Imagine the double upgrade on this with a five star, five star. Like you know what I'm saying? It doesn't seem like as relevant to do on this card. I think. You know what's cool about Modric? You could totally make him a cam in your team too on a hunter with the future improvements. If he gets the future improvements, you never know in football, right, boys? Things can change. The title can change, my dude. Ugh. Why is the evolution card design the same? You know what I'm saying? Should have been a team of the season evolution card or something. But yeah, those are like the best options, I think. I think it makes more sense to kind of go for like the more defensive players, the midfielders. But just be mindful of like the play styles that the cards already have, what you would be giving them, right? Because I think that's going to be very important to take a look at with this one. But obviously a pretty nice evolution for the most part, depending on the types of players that you do end up packing during team of the season, right? So... But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.